fancy, amazing game day appetizer. Super easy, everyone will love it. So let's make vegetarian taco bites. What's up y'all, it's Katie Austin here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have one of my favorite game day recipes. It, I personally think it's honestly super easy to make. It does take a little bit of cooking time because we're going to, uh, we're gonna be making like vegetarian little taco bites. I seriously think everyone, no matter if you're going to a tailgate party or having people over, every single person will like these. We have to bake the tortillas first to get them crispy, saute the vegetables, put them back in the oven twice. You'll understand it. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step on how to make these together, and I think you guys are going to be obsessed, seriously. We're making a vegetarian style of this, but you guys can always add in some chicken or some ground beef would be phenomenal in these. So I'll take you through exactly what you're gonna need. I am using a mini muffin tray. Y'all can use a bigger muffin tray, a regular one too, just depending on how big you want the bite size. I like super mini. I have some peppers cut up here, just a little bit of jalapeno, depending on how spicy you want these. Um, I got some onion. I would usually be using red onion for this um, as it's like a Tex-Mex style dish, but at the same time, I only had white onion. We have some black beans, some corn, some Greek yogurt to substitute as sour cream, some cheese, and then I'm actually using the carb balanced tortillas. No necessarily reason why, just making it like a touch healthier. Then you're also gonna need some taco seasoning and butter. So first things first, we are going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna take these tortillas and just cut them so they fit in to the little mini muffins. It doesn't need to be perfect. Almost like cutting a pizza. Amazing. Almost like you're making tortilla chips, right? Then I'm gonna take this butter and melt it. So I melted my butter and you guys can do it a little bit healthier and just do like a little olive oil spray, but this is gonna make them taste so freaking good. I'm just gonna dip all the tortillas, you can put them all at once too, into the butter right here. So they are fully coated, just a little bit, and then put them right there in the muffin tray. Stuff it in there, right? So look how I just use my fingers to really get it down and dirty in there. You know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna do it to all of them. You can do this a lot faster if you just throw all of the tortillas into the butter. This probably right here is the most time consuming part, but honestly, I find it really fun. So now I am going to toss these in the oven, let them crisp up, and then I'm gonna saute the vegetables. All right, tossing in the peppers. I'm not gonna do all these peppers. And then just a touch of jalapeno, again, your spice liking. Don't go overboard on the jalapeno, you guys, <laughs> because you can't take a bet. It gets real spicy. And then I'm tossing in the onions. I'm gonna let these saute for about two to three minutes before I toss in the corn, the beans, and the black beans. Some taco seasoning. A lot of seasoning because we want this to taste amazing. Every single bite, I want to be filled with flavor. 10 minutes later, approximately 10 minutes, I would watch it around like seven or eight minutes. Um, and we're gonna take them out, get it nice and crispy, perfection. Wow. Okay, so as you guys can see here, the shells are nice and done. Perfection, wow, look at that. So what we're gonna do now, I'm actually gonna toss this veggie mix in each one and then top with some cheese back in the oven. Let's see how it turns out. Make sure each bite is filled with love. Would you look at that? Now that they're all filled, I'm gonna to top each one with a little bit of cheese. Your muffin tray might still be a little bit hot, so be careful. I'm going to put these bad boys back in the oven probably for just like two, three minutes. The oven's pretty hot right now. Just wait till they get melted. They are cooked to perfection. It's time to taste test. I am going to, um, look, look how good they just come out just like that. They're still hot, so be careful, but like, oh 
my goodness, your guests or wherever you're bringing these are going to be so impressed by your cooking skills. And you know what? It wasn't even that hard. So I'm actually gonna top with um, some of this Greek yogurt and a little bit of hot sauce, but I feel like what would be absolutely incredible is a little bit of guac on top, some green onions. I wish I had guacamole, but you know what? Can't win them all. I mean, you guys can do some hot sauce too if you want. For the moment of truth, look how cute these are too. They're vegetarian, like I said in the beginning, but also you guys can add like ground beef or ground chicken too, which would be so good. Just saute with the vegetables. Here we go. Also, I feel like you could eat this in one bite, but I have a small mouth, so I'm gonna eat it in two bites. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my gosh. These could be like my new favorite snack. Can you see that? They are delectable. All right, so you guys, hopefully you try this recipe. You love it. You're, all your guests love it too. I love you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.